Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to another episode in which you realize that my uh, hair has not been cut yet. Yes, I'm still waiting, bro. This, this freaking hairdresser dude is not responding. I'm waiting on him to respond to me so I can get my assignment or what, what is it called? The, the day that I go there, not assignment. What's, what? I don't even know what the word is, you know? My hair is, like, this is so heavy. It's pushing my brain in. I can't even think anymore. Anyways, how you guys doing, man? Nice to see you all on today's episode. Um, We have the Braga career mode back, as you guys can see. We are here with the January transfer window. Yes, it had just opened up, and we have about 21 million to spend. But wait, there is more. Borja departs. Rodriguez is gone. Tormena is gone. Sretina is gone. Gaitan is gone, Novais is gone, Cunha is gone, Fonte is gone, Kaju transfer offer. Now, this is where things get interesting. Kaju for 4.3 million. Um, we can accept that. But if we do accept both these offers for Kaju and for my main man Sequeira for about 10 million, that will result in about 14 million transfer value coming through into our team. And at the same time, that means we don't really have anyone for the reserves team for that left back position. We don't really have anyone as a backup for that spot. So what's going to happen is we are probably going to have around 30 million to spend in this episode. We're going to spend it all so you guys can enjoy a transfer window episode. And uh, we'll see where we spend it exactly. We have a couple of ideas that we can chase after, but also... We have the fan objectives. So as you guys can see, the next Messi is on 8 out of 20. Giant Killer is on 2 out of 4. New King in town. Still haven't lost against those teams. Family Cow is our next op opponent. So we got to get a good result there. Redemption is on 2 out of 7. Lucas Piazon needs to step up his game. Trabs on Trio is on 27 out of 60. It was on 15. It has moved up by 12. So really nice to see. And Sing a Song is still stuck on 3 out of 10. So a lot of things to chase after as we go into this transfer window. And uh, you can tell that a bunch of these players have reached their potential. This guy right there, um, his development plan takes him 87 weeks to get to one rating above. So it just shows you that there's plenty of players in this team that have reached their potential. Players that are not going to be going up too much unless their potential changes next season. Currently in the league, we are five points behind Benfica. I am really hoping that we can catch up to them. I really want to win the league if we can somehow make it happen. But Benfica has not lost a single game and their goal difference is looking very good. Talking about goal difference, there's one coming in from Jillian who says, who realizes that every time we have a new higher rated goalkeeper, they get worse. Yes, Carvajal, for example, at um, Alessund was great. Why are these goalkeepers getting so much worse when you get them like at, to a higher rating? I think it literally, for goalkeepers, bro, it's about the animations that they have and it's about their build if they are tall. That's all. That's all it is. They could be 50 rated or 85 rated. The 50 rated goalkeeper could genuinely outperform the 85 rated one. My personal opinion. Uh, it, it just is that stupid. Anyways, if you guys enjoy the episode, if you're looking forward to the transfer window banger right here, make sure to hit that like button. Let's get the hype back into this series and let's get into this big game against Famalicao. We're going to step into it. We're going to beat them. And after that, boys, we have Benfica coming up in the cup, which I'm looking forward to. I am waiting for the two transfers to go through for Sequeira and Borja or Kaju. And then we're going to go ahead and make our signings. So we have a player that we used to have coming up against us here. Uh, I think, what was his name? Nusrati, the, C the CDM that we had in our team. So he has apparently joined our city rivals, which is something I didn't know. Nusrati, there it is. So he plays against us. We know he's very good defensively. But Asunsao now needs to showcase that we have made the right decision in bringing him into the squad. Porta has been doing well due to Asunsao holding it down in defense. So hopefully this can be a victory. I do need a lot of goal contributions from a lot of players in this squad. And uh, we just got to get it done, dudes. We're going to send Galeno on a run. Whoa! That was an impressive pass, actually. That was very nice. Good start to the game. Orta, well done. Orta into Mambimbi. Mambimbi, the only skill move that works is the, uh, is the Elastico, bro. No other skill move works against the AI. You just got to time it right. 
But with the other ones, even if you time it right, nothing happens at times. Oriano, use your left foot. Mate, that was the perfect position to use his left foot. I don't know why he didn't. Cross coming in. Brooks, let's go. Ah, oh, man, Brooks went a little bit too far ahead. Bad positioning there. We're going to try it again. Come on, Brooks, now. Show me what you got. That's a bad cross this time. Oh, Oriano. Oh, yes. Yes. Let's go. The goal has been secured. 1-0 to Braga. Pamalikao. I am here to stay. This city is mine. We are not giving away any points to you. We need a, another goal, please, to get a little bit more security. But Oriano right there. Good finish, actually. Great reaction from the keeper. But Mambimbi, man, he is just in a right spot at the right time. His attack positioning has been improving nicely here. And he showcases it once again with great ability to move into the right spots. Porta, Orellano, Orellano, nice move. Orellano, pass. Mambimbi, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, Get out of this stadium. Get out of here. Everyone leave. This game is done. What a pass from um, Orellano. Did you see the skill move? Did you see the turn? Did you see the pass into Mambimbi as he smashes it in? Orellano with the skill moves, the pass with the back heel, and Mambimbi into the back of the net. I am sorry, but this team stands no chance against us right now. Get out of here. 2-0, Mambimbi with the double, Orellano with the assist. You couldn't ask for more. 33% possession, and they still only had one shot. That just shows how bad their attack is. You guys suck, dude. <laughs> Get out of the city as well, not just out of the stadium. Now, do we have the sales messages? Yes, Sequeira and Kaju are gone. And we have the game against Benfica coming up in a minute. So this is a perfect time for us to jump in there and make some signings to strengthen our team. Now, as you guys know, the reserves team now doesn't have a left back anymore. Apart from Actually, Mora is not too bad as a left back here. He's only 22 years old. We don't need a left back. I didn't realize that. We do have Mora, who is young and talented. Why Why should I go ahead and spend on a left back? We're fine on that position. And this Izquierdos dude is somehow surviving in the squad. And I don't know how. I've, I've been trying to sell him. But no one is interested in a 33-year-old center back, it seems. So that is a little bit of an issue. We can't really get rid of him. But um, even the reserves team at the moment, after all the signings that we have made, is looking solid, apart from one position only, which is the Horta position. So we do need a backup for this team. And I've seen a couple of comments. One of them came in and said, um, go for Nordli, our player that we had at all assumed. Here he is. Well, he's not here. Well, I, I thought I'd put him onto the transfer list, but Nordli is an option. He is, I think, 70, 71 rated right now. Simen Bolkan Nordli here. 22 year old, very well balanced. Could be a good player for the reserves team. A player that can definitely improve. And he's not too expensive at the same time. Only 2.5 million for Nordli. We can get him into the team. Or, or we go for someone that is even better than Horta and get him into the squad. And Horta plays for the reserves team. And because we have 32 million, I think we should probably go for that because if I'm going to have this budget, I'd rather spend it on someone that goes into the starting lineup. And I know Horta is higher rated than Asunsao, but they have two different roles in this game. Horta is a box-to-box -box midfielder. Asunsao is someone for me that I want to see defend, but at the same time, at times, get forward and get some movement going for the team. But I think Horta is the one that I would rather go ahead and put onto the reserves because he is um, a little bit older than Asunsal. Asunsal has a lot of potential. Horta is good and even off the bench he could be quality. So um, that is going to give us a little bit more strength off the bench and also a lot more strength than the reserves team. So I think that's the right choice. Let's see if we can find someone for that midfield that is going to be an amazing player and probably, possibly, the highest rated player in this team. You know what, guys? I'm going to go for a talent that is known to be a big talent, but someone that I've never in my life used in any FIFA, as far as I know. His name is Oscar Rodriguez Arnaiz. Now, we're going to try and bring this guy into the team who can possibly find him. I don't know if I see him there, so I'm just going to go ahead and look for his team. Hopefully, we do find him in La Liga Santander. He is a big talent from, um, from what is it, Sevilla? Yeah, Sevilla he plays for. So um, 
I've seen him get a future stars, which I was confused. I thought, who the hell is this guy? But now, knowing that he's a talented center midfielder slash cam, I am interested in him. I think he could be a very good option for our team. There he is, 23 years old at the club since, because obviously his potential doesn't show anymore. He's worth quite a bit of money, and I think he could be a very, very good midfielder for us. He looks exactly like Sanchez, by the way, which is going to be a little bit odd, but he has good long shots, and that's something that I really, really want in my team. I want someone to be able to bang it top pins. I do expect him to be worth at least 20, at least. So let's see how this deal goes. Can we get this guy into the team? Let me ask for 20 mil, put in a sell-on clause of 10%. See what they say. Are they interested in that? They want 48 million. And now this is where things get interesting. I cannot afford that much money. Um, 30 million is my last offer. If they don't take it, they don't take it, boys. That's us being done with this deal. Yeah. Okay. Forget about Oscar. I wanted to try someone new, but we're not going to be given that opportunity. If we can't get Oscar, we can get the king. His name is Kral. That is in Turkish. It means king. So we're going to go after... Alex Kral right here for that CDM slash center midfield position in our team. Great haircut. Love it. Going to be uh, someone that we can point out on the pitch at all times if we can get him. Ah, they don't have enough depth, man. I really wanted him. Ah, man. Both of the players I can't get. Yikes. The next player we're going for is a 24-year-old Enoch Mvepu. Never heard of him. Never tried him. And that's why he excites me when I look into his stats. We're going to go for him. He currently plays for Salzburg. Obviously, the Red Bull teams are known for bringing out great players in the past. But the likes of Sadio Mane and Keita and Viana and just a bunch more uh, players that are now at the top level of football. We're going to go ahead and offer them about, yeah, 20 mil. Do I offer them 20 mil? I'm going to offer them about 16. See what they say and then go from there, basically. I think every time you add on a sell-on clause, no matter how low your offer is, they actually come back with a counter offer. Literally, as I was saying it, they just stood up and went, okay, um, cool. I messed up there. He's probably worth a lot more. I probably should have offered the 20. That was probably the right choice. You know what? I found the right one. Someone that I actually really, really like in FIFA because I feel like he has a very good build for the game. Rene Adelaide, he currently, or actually, how do I like get this guy's name right so let's do jeff his name is jeff rain adelaide he is a former arsenal player if you guys remember currently at west ham i would like to bring this guy in because i really 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 like him as a player in fifa generally so we're going to try and sign him up four star skill move player 23 year old from france a player that was supposed to be a massive talent turned out to be just okay or maybe a little bit above average let's just put it that way now, as we do want to sign in, we'll have to offer a good chunk of money here. I'm going to go with the 22 million offer. And I think he's my number one on the list. Looking at all the options that I have, I would love to get him into the squad. Man, everyone is just... Ah, 22 mil, they're not even negotiating. Does that mean he's like worth 40? I offered 20 mil for the guy that they wanted 40 something for. And he... They, they negotiated at least. I can't even get him. All right, guys. I'm going for an option that is Turkish now. Kökçü. All right. This one has to work. Please, I beg you. I really want one of these guys to join into the team. He looks like he might have a real face. No, it's not a real face. But anyways, Kökçü currently at Feyenoord. A five-star week for player. Let me sign him. I beg you. I'm I'm just going to offer 23 mil, right? 24 mil. I, I want this deal to go through. So please, I beg, let me make it happen. Offering this, this right now. Okay. Oh, they want Sing. That's not good. Hey, bro, I can just maybe offer you the center back. This is Kierdos, dude. But I don't have any other option here. I can give you 22 mil. Well, let's go for... 24 mil plus izquierdos. That's what I can offer you. I can't give you... Okay, they want 31 million. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, but he is a very, very talented player. So we're going to go ahead and offer them 27, uh, 28.5 and see if we can get the deal through. Come on. Let's make it happen, man. Doesn't work, but at least we have a chance of making this work now. 29.5. I'm going up 1 mil every step of the way. Please. 
Yes! Kirk Drew, five star wee foot. Dude, this has me excited. Never used him. Never used him. Couldn't get Rene Adelaide and all the boys. They are expensive. They're way too expensive by the looks of things. This guy's all the traits. Look at that. He has finesse shot, long passer, long shot taker, playmaker, outside of the foot. For simulations, those traits are going to be beautiful. He is more of an attacking center midfielder. He can also play cam, so keep that in mind. Only 21 years old. So our biggest signing of this career mode so far is walking into the room right now. Let's make it happen, man. Crucial first team player. I would say we have to agree on that. He will be a crucial first team player. Five year contract is fine with me. I will probably put in a release clause of... Okay, we're buying him for 29. Let's put in a release clause of 45 mil for him. 45 million. They have accepted that just in case we want to take him with us into another team. And 11k on his wages is fine with me. That leaves us with a massive transfer of Kukju coming through. Me with my Turkish origins. This makes it even more exciting, obviously. A very, very talented player right here. I never used him and I am even more excited to use him now. 78 rated, 31 million is his value. Maybe I put the, uh, I put the, um, what's it called? The, the amount of the, of the release cost a little bit too low because he can easily get past it. So Horta is now going to be on the bench. I think that is how I'm going to run it. So Horta goes on here. Let me just quickly bring that center back back. Kamara onto the bench and uh, we are looking good. Very, very good, actually. I'm very happy with the changes that we have made. I know he's lower rated than Horta, but I think he is quality moving forward. He has more pace, more shooting. So that is quality and the five-star weak foot, of course. We can just train his skill moves now and turn him into a five-star, five-star who probably goes up to the 80 rating very quickly. While Horta maybe goes to an 81. I think that's his potential and he's, he's stuck there then. This guy, we could turn into a beast long term. So that is exactly what I'm looking forward to doing. And he's just going to be more fun. So I like that. Great signing on transfer deadline day. Spent a lot of, a lot of money but we spent below his transfer value. So at the end of the day, I think we made the right decision. By the way, poor Murillo on that right midfield position. Last episode, someone said, Murillo scored two goals to impress Gianni. Gianni says, who the hell is Murillo? I'm so sorry for you, bro. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll give him more play time. But now we get to test out our new signing, guys. Benfica against Braga, the team that is unbeaten this season. Can we cause some damage? Yes or no? It's in the quarterfinals of the cup. For us, I think they're expecting us to get into the finals. Oh no, quarter finals is fine. So if we do drop out here, it's not going to have a negative effect. All good. But I do want to beat them and I want to lift this trophy. I want to get at least one trophy this season. And this is probably the closest we can get. If we can get past them, it's looking very good for us. Here it goes. Let's take a look into the starting lineup of Benfica. I am expecting them to have a very, very strong squad. A bunch of players that we know and uh, a bunch of players that are probably around 85 rating now at this point very talented players that pizzi is probably 85 minimum at this point he's the captain of his squad i don't think he's young though is he young i'm not too sure i mean he might be around 25 26 maybe but i don't i'm not too sure on how old pizzi has never paid attention to that but we're shaking hands right now luca waldschmidt is their striker i think he's a five star weak foot striker so we got to be careful with him in their squad as well. There it is. Nunes up top. Waldschmidt in cam. Everton on the left-hand side. Weigel, Pizzi, Pedrinho. Wow. Uh, Rusinho, Otamendi, Ferro, Gilberto. Oh, we're going to attack Otamendi with Mambimbi. Otamendi is not capable of dealing with Mambimbi's pace. That's the ball into Galeno. Galeno. Come on, Galeno. Ah, oh, he is right-footed though, isn't he? I, I, I kind of thought he was left-footed for some reason, but he is right-footed. So I probably should have finessed it in that position. Wow, Benfica is different gravy, boys. They are moving in numbers, I wanted to say, and then they passed it like that. That is very odd. Mambimbi, I see him. Otamendi cannot catch up. If only we had a better pass on us there. We could have run through. Otamendi is going to struggle with Mambimbi a lot today. Oriano. I look forward to seeing these runs. Go on, attack him, Ot Yes, Mambimbi in behind Otamendi. We're going to exploit that. Oh, it's a great save once again. The keeper is doing great work right now. We could have easily scored there. Kirk Drew onto his left. 
Five star weak foot doesn't matter, right? You can just take shots from anywhere, really, with him. Oh, get out of here, man. Plays a scorpion pass. Are you kidding me? They're inside the box now, playing one twos in between each other. It's a great. Wow. I don't even know what to say. That is unbelievable passing play, boys. I could not do a single thing as Weigel scores the goal. They play Tiki Taka inside the box or just around the edges of the box and still managed to get through with the passing play. And that pass across was impressive. Look at that. In behind Guardiol and then in behind Brooks. Both of them just watching on as Weigel runs through as the CDM of Benfica. This team is different. They are very good. Otamendi always attacking Otamendi. Here we go. Mambimbi cuts back in. Play through. That was for Ariano, man. That was for Ariano. He's in the perfect spot right there. In behind our defense. Brooks gets it done. Gets it across to Galeno. And the first half is done. Absolutely dominated by Benfica. We are seeing a very, very strong team come up against us here. And it just shows that they're just better than us. They, they just really are. And Sanchez is already extremely tired. So this gives us an opportunity to bring on Horta, who is a better defender than Kukju. Kukju goes into cam. Horta goes into center midfield position. I'm going to try and pursue um, more out of this game. Kamara has to come in for Brooks as well, who is extremely tired. Man, our team is really struggling with stamina. I absolutely hate it. Oh, come on. Please. I can't get to them, man. Carmo is tired. He can't run. Ah, man. We're getting beat here. Benfica is going to kick us out of the cup. I can feel it. We still have enough time to come back, but my God, is this team good. Now, we also have an injury picked up by Mamimbi. He's coming off. We're bringing on Kazri. It's not, it's not a good sign, boys. The best player that we have to run in behind is injured. Oh, come on. Please, man. What the hell? I had the ball. I had the ball. Carmo had the tackling. Like... I hate this game when it comes to these types of positions, man. When that stuff happens to me in online gameplay, I lose my mind, man. When people just run into you and still get past you, does my head in. It's so stupid. It happens too often in this game. Ah, We're done. We're done with this game. Look at that pass, bro. It's 3-0. Get out of my face. We're done. We're done. Uh, do I leave? I don't know. I'm just going to try and play to the end. But, man, I'm close to giving up here because so much is going against us. Benfica is way too good. And on top of it, the game goes their way. Just uh, look at that, man. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do there, man? Get out of here, man. Honestly, get another tackle in. Lands right in front of him. 4-0. We're smashed. Benfica is too good. Incredible. It's a wake-up call. It's an absolute wake-up call. We might be beating these smaller teams. Yeah, hey, cool. We're not able to compete with this team. We're not able to compete with them. They are too good. They are way too good. Levels, levels in this game, man. So bad. Ah, that was so freaking bad from us. We got smashed to pieces. Extremely upset about that game, man. There's nothing else I can really say. I am just very, very upset. The reserves team is going to play against Farenza here. I'm expecting a loss. I don't know. I'm expecting a loss. Yep. There you go, man. There you go. Yes. Lost another game. Love it. Absolutely love it. Benfica win their game 3-0. Yeah, this is, this is going to be tough. I don't know what to do here. We are way behind now. We are eight points behind Benfica. It's, it's looking very bad, boys. I'm losing my head. I'm losing my head. I'm, I'm, I might get fired. <laughs> I might get fired here. What really annoys me the most is the fact that our team just constantly struggles for stamina. No matter what we have, if we have a week off, four days, three days, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't seem to matter. Um, we have a loan offer for Samuel Costa. Um, I'll go over the regular loan if you want him. Kazri, 5.5 million offer for him. I'm happy with Kazri, man. He's a good backup. He's a very good backup and really good finisher of the ball. So I don't think we're going to sell him. We're just going to go into this game against Portimona and get smashed again. How about that? Here it is. And we won. Surprise, surprise. Orellano and Sanchez stepping up. Sanchez in the first minute. Mambimbi. Missing a penalty. 
I think I saw that was a penalty. I'm not too sure, actually. And that puts us eight points behind them. Yeah, still, still the same amount of points. Okay, nothing, nothing happening there. With that being said, though, I want to guarantee a Champions League spot for this team. So we have to get at least second position. And talking about second position, our next opponent is Porto. Yes, Porto is coming up next. We have done well against them last time. And I really hope we can, we can do that again. We have transfer offers coming in for Murillo, the 75 rated uh, player on that right midfield position. Uh, I don't know. Do I get rid of him? Mateos, 21.5 mil. Oh, that's a different story. I am all for letting Mateos go. I really, really dislike him a lot. He is terrible. So, Inter Miami, let's see if you can cash out 25 mil because I am willing to let this guy go immediately if you let me sell him. 25 million for Mateos. Enjoy. Please. 22. All right, 24 mil. Come on, let's meet somewhere. 24 mil for Mateus. I'd rather have an 80 rated goalkeeper that's actually good. Okay, they are not going up at all. 23 million then. You know how to negotiate, right? You come across and try to come closer to my price. What? Get out of here, man. Get out of my office. Everything is going wrong right now. Get out of here, man. As much as I am disappointed with the team, at the same time, I was very happy with them until this episode, I gotta say. So, can't really say everything is terrible. We're still in a good spot to try and fight for that first position. It's not too far away and we're only halfway through the season. I shouldn't give up on it already, but at least top two is a, a something that I want to get done. I want to qualify for the Champions League. I want to showcase that we are a coach that you bring in and he gets you at least Champions League. That's what, what we have kind of earned by now, right? With Alisson, we got first qualified for Europa League or Champions League. I'm not too sure. Then we got to Trabzon, qualified for the Champions League. Now we're at Braga, need to qualify for the Champions League as well. We got to get that done. Now, Galeno with a plus two so far this season. Um, he is, what is he? Is he a five, yeah, five star skill moves, right footed. Okay, he, I need to work on his weak foot because a lot of times he could take a great shot on his weak foot and he just isn't in that right spot. So maybe I just do that right now. Let me improve his weak foot instead of going what we're going after right now. Nine weeks and he should have a four star weak foot. So that's good. Orellano is doing well. Uh, he has, he has now grown to an 80 rating. So that's good. He is one of the highest rated players in the team. Porta has gone up to an 80 this season. Brooks hasn't gone up, but has been exceptional. Cook, you just joined in. Mambimbi with a plus three this season. Very good to see. Exciting prospect. Going to be very expensive to try and sign him into the next team. So we'll see how that goes. Um, that's going to be an interesting thing. Carmo, his lack of pace showcased there in that Benfica game. Guardiol would probably do better at centre-back at this stage than Carmo. So maybe that's something to think about. Singh is doing all right in terms of growth. This guy obviously has gone down. Asunsao has not grown yet, which is a bit odd. But then again, he was down to a 75 and then went up to a 76. Sadas is okay. Sanchez only plus one. And then we're not looking at too much growth. Cabore has gone up nicely though. Anyone else with plus twos possibly or just plus ones all around? So halfway through the season, good position in the league. Third. Can't complain, but at the same time, I want to complain, all right? And I have the right to do so. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, though, man. It was a madness, a wake-up call of a different level that Benfica have in their team, and we need to do better. Next time, Mambimbi doesn't get injured. Next time, we have a full stamina team, and we get in behind Otamendi and score. That's going to be the goal. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back again with the next episode. We're still in the transfer window. Still some madness could be happening until transfer deadline day. We'll see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and peace.